everybody. This is Diana from So Very Crafty, and we are here today to make this terrific little beginner sun hat. Yes, any beginner, strong beginner, can make this project in no time. It is super simple little sun hat that anyone can make. It comes with a free sewing pattern that I will put into the description section in of the video so that you can download it and make this project. Just follow the step-by-step -step instructions and you will be ready to rock and roll on this one. I hope you enjoyed this project today. It's really a cute little sun hat and fun to make. If you do enjoy it, give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel, ding that bell for notifications, and head over to the website at www.soverycrafty.com for more sewing and crafting tutorials that you won't find here on the YouTube channel. And keep in mind that this little gem is reversible, so you can make it any color, any pattern that you like, and it will be just adorable for you. So let's get started on how to make this reversible, easy to make, beginner sun hat. So how do we make this adorable sun hat? It is so, so simple. All you need is the pattern, and I will put the link to the pattern in the description section of the video, just where it says see more. There will be a link to this pattern. You're going to print out the pages, tape them together, and then cut them out, and you're going to come out with two pieces that look like this. One is like a, a half round section and one is sort of like a triangle. You are going to then cut an outer piece and a lining piece on the fold of your outer and lining pieces so that you have almost a full brim of your hat. It just it's open. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your triangle pieces and you're going to cut six outer pieces and six lining pieces that are the same um, from this pattern piece. You are also going to cut some Pellon SF101 interfacing or another similar woven interfacing for this project. You're going to cut one from the arced round pattern piece and you're going to cut six from the triangle pattern piece. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your Pellon SF101 and you're going to fuse it to the opposite side of the outer pieces of the fabrics that you cut. In other words, the outer fabric of your uh, arc and the outer fabric of your triangles. Now this sun hat is reversible, so it doesn't really matter which fabric you choose as long as it's the same fabric. Now I've chosen this cherry fabric for my hat today and I have gone ahead and I've fused following the manufacturer's instructions and using a hot iron I have uh, fused this interfacing onto this um, onto my onto my fabric pieces. For now, I'm just going to set aside my triangle pieces and we're just going to work with our round pieces. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to place them right sides together so that the raw edges meet. 
and we can take some clips or some pins. I'm just going to use a couple of pins here. If you're a more advanced sewist, you don't need to use any pins at all for this uh, because it's such a short distance. But for you beginner sewists, you may want to put a couple of pins or maybe some wonder clips here to hold this together. Now we are going to head over to the sewing machine and we are just going to stitch these ends together using a one quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm going to run over to the sewing machine. I'm going to do that. We're going to come back and move on to our next step. Now I'm back and I have stitched these edges together and we have what is going to be the brim of our hat. And I have pressed my seams open. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our brims of our hat and we are going to place them right sides together, matching up these seams. And again, we're going to take some pins or some clips. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. I'm just going to use some pins today for this. And I'm actually going to stitch the wide part of our, or pin my wide part of my brim to the lining part of my brim. matching these seams. Now again, you can use as many or as few pins or clips as you like for this. We just want to make sure that these raw edges are lined up when we go to sew this. I'm not using too many pins, but it's really quite up to you and the level of your stitching ability. Now we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch all the way around the wide part of our brim using a one quarter inch seam allowance. And then we're going to come back and we are going to move on to our next step. Here we are at the sewing machine, and I'm going to take off my table for this. And I'm going to start at my seam using my quarter inch foot. There we have it. We have stitched the wide part of our brim together and now let's head over uh, to the iron and I'm going to turn this right sides out just like this and I'm going to press this so that it has a nice neat edge. Now I've pressed my brim and now I'm going to top stitch it. Just one neat stitch all the way around. But before I do that, I'm going to switch out my bobbin so that I have red thread in it. And the reason I'm going to do that is because my the underside of my brim is red and I currently have black thread in my machine. I would like not to have the top stitching show on the underside of my brim. So I'm just going to switch out my bobbin thread here. so that I can have matching thread. 
And once again, I'm going to start at the seam. Now you can see that I have black top stitching on one side and red top stitching on the other side, which makes it look a little more professional and a little neater. So let's head over to the workstation and let's move on to our next step. Okay, so now we have finished what is our brim of our hat and now we have to create the top or the crown of our hat. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to take our triangles and th those triangles are going to create the crown. We're going to start out and we are going to stitch these triangles right sides together. And I'm going to start out by stitching two of them. Again, I'm just going to pin using a couple of pins, but it's up to you how many pins you want to use. And I'm going to stitch them together using a one quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back and we're going to add a third triangle to this and see what that looks like. Here we are back at the sewing machine and I have my triangle and I'm just going to use my quarter inch foot and I'm going to stitch a quarter inch all the way along the side. I'm going to press my seam open before I move on to my next step. Now I've stitched two of my triangles together and you can see that it's starting to form a little arc. I'm going to take a third one of my triangles and I'm going to stitch it to the first two doing exactly the same thing and I'm going to be right back. So here we go, we have half of our crown finished. We're gonna set this aside and we are going to create the other half of our crown in exactly the same way that we created the first half. I'm gonna go do that and then we'll come back and we're gonna join these two crown pieces together to form the entire crown of our sun hat. Okay, now we have two halves of our crown of our hat and we are going to place these two right sides together matching up the seams and we're just going to pin them. Now the reason we do these three at a time is if we tried to do these one at a time, we would have a very difficult time trying to put that final triangle in between two pieces of uh, two other triangles. So this way we only need to worry about a single seam all the way across the center to uh, join our two sides together. And again, use as many pins as you think you need for this, or you could use clips. Now I'm going to head back over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch a seam all the way across, all the way down this side to join these two pieces together so that we have one single crown or top of our sun hat. So let's head over to the sewing machine and let's take care of that. Here we are back at the sewing machine and I am just going to stitch this 
again using a one quarter inch seam allowance all the way across. that's all there is to it. Now that's all there is to stitching our crown together. If we turn it right sides out, we can see that we have a nice crown for our sun hat that is going to fit perfectly onto our brim. But before we move on to attaching it to our brim, we need to create another uh, another crown to our hat using our lining pieces. So I'm just going to run over to the sewing machine real quick and I'm going to make a crown to my hat using my lining pieces exactly the same way that I made the outer crown so that we can have a reversible sun hat um, and we can have two different colors or patterns of fabrics for our hat to use whenever we want. So let me head over to the sewing machine and just make a second crown and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have finished my lining crown, but you will notice that I've left an opening in one side of my crown so that I can turn this right sides out when it comes time. So for now, we have a crown that is completed and it's time now to put this project together. Now we have our brim and our crown and we need to place these right sides together so that our raw edges line up. And I like to find my seam here on the, cr on the brim and line it up with a seam on the crown. It just gives it a little better look. And I'm just gonna add some clips here because we're getting uh, a little more bulk. And we're just going to clip this all the way around. And you can see that our brim and our crown fit nicely together. Now I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I am going to stitch all the way around my brim and crown using a 3 8 inch seam allowance this time. So let's head over to the sewing machine and let's stitch this up and we'll finish up our front project. Okay, we're back at the sewing machine. I've taken my table off of my machine so that I can make this a lot easier to stitch. And I'm going to use a 3 8 inch seam allowance here and I'm just gonna stitch all the way around.
Okay, so we have stitched on our brim, and now it's time to finish up our project. Now you can see we have a sun hat, but we're not finished because our inside is still raw. So what we're going to do is we are going to take our lining hat and our outer hat, and we are going to place them right sides together. And we're going to sandwich our brim in between these two pieces. And once again, I want to try to line up these seams that are on the crown because it'll give it a little nicer finish. And once again, I'm going to use some clips, but you could use pins if you want to. Now I've clipped these around and I am going to go back over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch all the way around this crown again using a 3 8 inch seam allowance and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have stitched my lining crown to the rest of my, my hat and now this opening in our lining is going to make sense because now I'm going to pull out our hat through this lining and we have a hat that's nice and neat. What we're going to do now is we are going to head over to the iron. We are going to press this seam so that our lining stays nice and neat inside of our hat. And then I'm going to just top stitch along this, the edge of this seam to keep our lining in place. Once I've done that, the only thing left to do is to close this opening using ladder stitch. So let me just run over and top stitch this real quick and we'll be finished. Now, here we are, we are back. We have our cute little sun hat. We have our opening in the lining that we need to stitch closed using our ladder stitch. And the reason we want to use ladder stitch instead of our machine is because this hat is reversible and we want to make sure that these stitches are invisible. Now there are loads and loads of tutorials on YouTube on how to do ladder stitch. It's quite simple. Um, all you really do is take your needle and thread Thread it through the fold of one side of your seam. Go directly across, just like the rungs of a ladder. And go down the next side of your fold. Go directly across and down through the fold. And as you're doing this, you will see that the stitches disappear into the fold, just as if you sewed them right by machine. And you can have this hat be reversible. Now I've used a Kona cotton for my lining. but you can use another pattern. You can use 
another solid color fabric if you if you like you can use you know whatever you want for yours it's completely up to you um, I like using Kona cotton even though it tends to stretch a little bit when you stitch it um, so you've got to be careful with it a little bit but uh, I like the feel of it for all kinds of projects And there we go, a hat that's completely reversible. And that's all there is to this project. I hope you enjoyed it today. As usual, it's a fun little project, a nice little sun hat, because pretty soon the sun's gonna be coming out and you'll want one of these cute little hats to wear. Um, I just love mine. This one will be added to my collection of little sun hats that I have. Um, if you enjoyed this project today, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ding that bell for notifications so that you can get future So Very Crafty videos into your inbox. And if you want more sewing and crafting tutorials, head over to www.soverycrafty.com and find many, many more sewing and crafting tutorials that you will not find here on the YouTube channel. This is a simple one, like all the projects here on So Very Crafty. Any beginner sewist can make this um, in not very long a period of time. It's uh, very simple, so I hope you'll give this one a try and uh, wear it around town and keep the sun off your face when the sun comes out this summer. So that's it for today, and I will see you all next time. Bye.